creation mandate commands us to exercise dominion over God's creation, which actually means that we need to steward God's resources here on earth in order to help others and to glorify God. Let's take a look at how BJU Press Homeschool can help your teen look beneath the surface while studying our earth. Your young teen will develop a clear understanding of God's world through discovery and data analysis and predictions as they place all of those under the lens of the Bible. So your student will be able to identify assumptions and analyze explanations as they explore differing viewpoints throughout science, which will ultimately bolster their faith and equip them with data and facts that will help them as they face some of these differing viewpoints in the workplace, in future educational atmospheres, or even in public venues such as museums. In the textbook kit, you will receive the Earth Science Teacher's Edition Book A and B, the Lab Manual Teacher's Edition, the Lab Manual for Your Student, the Student Textbook, the Tests, and the Test Answer Key. Now I would like to go over what you should do to prepare to teach Earth Science well. First, I recommend that you review the lab manual and choose which labs you would like to go over with your young teen. Please note there are two to four labs included per chapter intentionally, so you have the flexibility to choose which ones will work best in your unique educational setting. Take time to review the pages at the front of your lab manual, Teacher's Edition. It will go over scheduling labs, performing labs, equipment and materials, and using the teacher's notes. The teacher's notes will give you extra guidance, and it will go over the equipment, Google Earth, math, and some of the other icons that you see here. These few pages will talk about safely performing the labs. I have taught Earth Science to two of my kids so far. Some of our favorite labs included exploration with thematic layers on Google Earth. I never realized previous to our study in Earth Science that we could obtain current information on earthquakes that were registered in the past 24 hours and locate plate tectonic boundaries. After choosing which labs you would like to do, locate the equipment and materials list in the back of the Teacher's Edition lab manual, which is on page 255. These lists are broken down by each lab. So if you want to look at the materials needed for specific labs, you can do that. And then I recommend putting all of the items in a central location so you're not looking all over when it comes time to do those labs. Also available to order is the Logo Science Lab Kits, which contain information, equipment, and supplies for specific labs outlined within the Logo Science Kits. Now I would like to go over the teacher's editions. You have two books in the teacher's edition set, which is book A and book B. The first teacher's edition, book A, has a CD-ROM as um, indicated by this icon here. And on that CD, there is some resources that you can use while teaching. There is a digital image gallery. There are section quizzes. Um, there's an editable lab manual equipment and materials list spreadsheet for Excel. There are some long-term project guides. And then there is also Google Earth content, including placemarks for the geographic coordinates mentioned in the student text and the teacher's edition. And then also Earth overlays and 3D models for that and a guide for using Google Earth and all the things that go into it throughout the Earth Science. And then there's a lot more content um, besides that. So it's mostly just like a resource that you can use while teaching your child. So now I wanna look at the table of contents and in book A of your teacher's edition, you will have unit one, two, and three and then in book B, four, five, and six. Unit one sets the stage for earth science. It gives the students tools. It examines the role of science, um, biblical worldview, mapping, um, physical science concepts that your child needs to understand in order to get the earth science concepts. 
And then unit two talks about tectonic processes, landforms, um, different things that happen in, on our earth as a result. And then unit three examines earth's rocky materials. And that is a fun unit. I always like that one because we have a set of rocks that we get to visually look at and um, play with. So the kids really like that. Unit four, we look at the oceans, lakes, rivers, and so on. Unit five, we look at atmosphere, storms, conditions, climate. And then unit six is outer space. So everything from our sun, moon, and earth moving out into the universe. And then within those units, you will see that it's further divided into chapters. These pages are absolutely invaluable when planning out your lessons for the year. That first section goes over the day in which you want to complete the lesson. So day one, lesson one, um, and so on. But there are a few, like on page two, where it has um, a couple days listed for one lesson. And so that means that that lesson would be taken over two days. Now you as the parent can decide how many lessons you want to go over in a day or how many days you want to take per lesson. And you and what I did was I would just mark it in pencil if there was something that I wanted to double up on or something like that. Now it also talks about the topic that will be covered in that lesson, what pages you need to have your student read. And I always would have them read it. And then I would look at the questions and discussion information in my teacher's edition. And then we would have a discussion, which I thought was absolutely invaluable because we had so much incredible discussion about the biblical integration that is um, relevant throughout the study of earth science. And I've learned a lot through those discussions, um, probably just as much as my kids, and it solidifies faith. It um, gives them just so much information when they're faced with all of what is going on in the world as well, and just being able to look at everything with a biblical perspective. And also in the support material section, um, just before the biblical integration section, it will list when there's a lab and if there's a star there that means it's in the lab manual they can do that on their own as homework you can take off a day each month and work on the lab or you can do it as you see it but it'll help you plan that ahead of time so this lesson plan overview is absolutely phenomenal in helping you plan out your days for your school year you may also want to look at these few pages, which talk about worldview and how to use this textbook well. And now I would like to go over how a chapter is laid out in the teacher's edition. And on this two page layout, you will see the center area, which is what your student will see in the student textbook. The light green area will be only in the teacher's edition and those will give you a lot of discussion topics that are invaluable when going over the content that you find in the pages in the textbook. On the bottom in the chapter opener layout, you will see a schedule that is recommended for you as you go through the chapter and how many days to work on each section. And at the beginning of each chapter, there will be a chapter opener with like a statement or question, something to encourage critical thinking and gain interest. And those will also be topics that they delve deeper into as you progress through the chapter. Now, this is a little bit different than the elementary years in the fact that you have a review for each section in an essay format. There is answers to those questions in the teacher's edition, which is in the green area on the bottom of the left-hand page, as you see here. And you can go over this in a discussion format with your student if you would like to do that, or you can have them write out the answers to the essays and then 
upgrade them. There is a box there that's called Facets for Earth Science. They're going to talk about careers and how a, a career in science can um, be serving of others and of God. Occasionally, you're going to see some illustrations throughout the chapters that just kind of bring home some of the different points that they are learning. And like in this one, it talks about the nebular model and one of the scientists are going, yay, it works. This, this model works perfectly. And the other one's like, well, wait, but what about Venus? Because it rotates backwards. Then in the back of the book, you'll find the appendix, which goes over scientific terms, math principles, graphing has maps and um, mineral identification and um, a few other resources like that. So you may want to take a look at the appendix and just see what's there and keep that in mind as you're teaching your students. Remember, as a homeschool parent and teacher, you are the one that is orchestrating your child's learning and your attitude is contagious. So as you are excited about learning and excited about teaching them, you will help them to be excited too. They will run towards learning more, delving deeper, and just finding out about our world with the ultimate goal of serving others and glorifying God.